gonna try out my mic. Don't really need it, but I thought that I'd give it a go anyway. Put this up like this. Tickle my ears properly. I just wanna check it out so when I go to the city or I'm using it, I can see if it makes a difference. So it's plugged in now and it should make a difference. Oh. It's been, the last few days have been bad days. I've, um, I'm tired. I'm really tired from the weekend and had a really busy week. And so this is the thing is I can um, go for a while and then I just get tired. <laughs> so Saturday was a busy day. Um, did things all throughout the week and I couldn't get to sleep on Saturday night so I'm trying to recuperate anyway today is our Bible reading I'm not going to bed at the moment but I just wanted to get it over and done with and um, so yesterday I think it's the 15th today let's give me a look this will tell me yeah, it's the 15th of October. The time is just passing us by. This year, the end of this year is coming quicker than quick. So let me do it now. We've got... Um, I'm right there. I just did that. Mm, that's good. It's not so much direct light. Um, so what we're going to be reading is from the 15th today, which is here. And it's entitled October 15th, God's Prophetic Gift. Okay. I should know, I remember that, I remember that. Um, so it's God's prophetic gift. Jesus, I need you so much right now. I pray that you will help me to understand this reading and help me to continue in my walk with you. I pray this in your name, Jesus Christ, amen. So that you can come short in no gift, eagerly waiting for the revealing, revelation sorry, of our Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 7. In the early days of the Adventist movement, a popular Protestant preacher called challenged James White with a question. Don't you Adventists believe in the Bible and the Bible only? If you do, why do you have a so-called prophet in your church? James White responded, We Adventists accept all of the Bible even those parts which speak about the gift of prophecy. To reject the gift of prophecy is to deny the Bible those Bible passages which promise God would raise up the gift in our day. The Apostle Paul would have heartedly agreed, do not quench the spirit, do not despise prophecies. In Ephesians 4.8, Paul adds that when the Saviour ascended on high, he, he gave gifts to men. The apostles list one of those gifts as the gift of prophecy. In December 1844, a 17-year-old Alan Harmon received her first vision. She saw the Adventist people travelling an elevated road to heaven with a brilliant light illuminating the pathway. What an encouragement this message was to this small and scattered group of believers, which would later be known as Seventh-day Adventists. From 1844 until her death in 1915, Ellen White received more than 2,000 prophetic visions and dreams, wrote more than 25 books and lectured to tens of thousands on three continents. With amazing accuracy and insight, she wrote on such subject 
Excuse me, I may be a spit on. On such subjects as education, nutrition, the life of Christ, practical godliness, world conditions, general health, medical practice, the coming world crisis, and many others. In his book, California Romantic and Beautiful, George Wharton James wrote about Ellen White, who had lived her last years in California. James said, This remarkable woman, also though almost entirely self-educated, has written and published more books and in more languages, which circulated to a greater extent in the written world of any woman of history. She has the gift of prophecy to his people. Uh, God has given the gift of prophecy to his people, so we will prosper physically, mentally, and spiritually. His promise to us today is believe his prophet and you shall prosper. Do you cherish God's prophetic gift? Do you accept it as a gift from a loving Lord who wants you to draw closer to him daily? Accepting God's special gift to his church today will bring you heaven's true prophecy. Well, I have something to say about that. And um, I think what I have to say about it is with Sister White and her gift I believe that it is a, a, the gift of prophecy. And the only way I've come to that conclusion is I've read books. I love the, I just love the books that I've read that have changed my life, like Steps to Christ. Um, uh, I've also looked at some of the other materials that she's written. And um, this is certainly something divine about the way she writes. But if you look into her um, life... Her, the history of her life, you'll see that, you know, um, she had, did have an extraordinary manifestation of the spirit of prophecy. Um, and she felt that her gift was not to, for the focus, was not to be on her, but the focus was to lead people back to the Bible. And if you look at history, um, I've studied her life. Some very extraordinary, amazing things happened in her lifetime um, and writing many of the books that she writes um, has really helped to contribute to my relationship with God um, to understand the Bible. Um, but I think reading... Um, some of the spirit of prophecy it, it certainly helps us to um you know it was it was written it was ahead of its time the writing was hit, a, a hit, what she wrote was a ahead of its time and you can test and she's written so much but if you can look at um some of the books she's written she was going to write the um great controversy and she came under a lot of persecution from the devil to stop her he tried to kill her in this instance when she wrote this book but I think you know there's a lot of debates about her and there's people talking critically just to find something critical about her and there's people that are going to be for her but I think the most important thing I would say to take on with her writings is to read them for yourself uh, one book I would recommend would be Steps to Christ that really um, deepened my relationship with Christ um, and it helped me in my life to find a lot more happiness. Um, and another great book is The Great Controversy, which she, you know, the devil tried to kill her for writing. And it really um, talks about God's plan for humanity. Um, and, you know, it really brings out a lot of evil deceptions that the devil has. So I strongly encourage you, if you've got time, to look up those books. Look up Alan White and have a look and read for yourself and make your own decision and do your own research. And that's the best way to make a decision. God bless you and remember that uh, 
God loves us all. Bye.